You're watching Lexi's Life. Hey y'all, it's Wednesday and I really haven't vlogged much at all this week. Um, leaving work now. On my way home, getting ready to cook. That's the plan. But we know I have to change my mind as soon as I get there. Um, I didn't vlog much. I took some pictures this week that I'll probably include. still don't know if that's actually going to happen like even if they visit is my sister really going to do this fish fry I don't know she had talked about doing something outdoors like going to the lake and then to the, to the lake or hiking which I'm like yeah again my foot is still on the mend like I'm walking around but I'm really slow and I was slower than her um before I broke my foot so she might not want to hike with me right now even though I still really want to go and the lake thing, we could have done that. But um, I reminded her that they're supposed to be coming into town and she's supposed to be trying to do something. So all I'll probably do is work around the house, clean up, go down there if they show up and get some more. I haven't, ooh, I started watching Candy. I started it the other day, but didn't pay attention to it, so I quickly turned it off and to tell her what I was doing while I was supposed to be watching. Um, so I started playing it while I was working today until my phone started acting up. Really interesting story. Technically, I saw a YouTube video about the story before I started the show. So it's like, I have an idea of what happened. I didn't fully listen to the YouTube video because, again, I was working. But, um, Maybe later tonight, I'll catch up on Candy. I watched last night's episode of This Is Us. Oh my God, spoiler warning. I mean, I watched it. This is the episode, the train, where Rebecca Rance is away. And I feel like they did Miguel dirty. Miguel had a beautiful episode last week 
But at the end, Lord, Miguel, you was always on the side. That's how they treated him last night. I have no idea. Well, I read something earlier. So I know they're going to have a funeral for her next week. But I have no idea where else we can go with our final episode. I don't want to say goodbye. I don't understand why this show has to go off. I really freaking love This Is Us. And you know what's so funny? I didn't like the last two seasons. Though. I didn't like earlier this season. I know for a fact I didn't like last season. It just, because it wasn't making me cry until last week. Prior to that, every episode of This Is Us made me cry. And so, we're back to, I'm about to lose my mind over this show as we wind down to the end. And I don't want it to end. Maybe, hopefully, we get a spinoff. But I don't want a spinoff. I want all of them, even though they get on my nerves. <laughs> I don't want to let go. Um, that's all I think I have to talk about right now. I'll try to get in a better mood if this is the wrong. Let me know. Maybe if I get closer to the weekend again, I find something to have myself up. I'll be feeling better. All right. It got dark real quick. I just decided to sit up here in my upper garden area because it's another area that brings me joy. Um, you can't even see my plants now. I took a few pictures before this. <laughs> Guess ain't no point in me talking because you can't see nothing. I got these deck lights. Zooming in. See the detail? I got these from Five Below. So they're two in a pack for $5. I want to get more so I can just, you know, have them going along the whole wall. But I feel like they were a good buy. How I'm really trying to cheer myself up. Wine, candles, bubble bath, just some self care. I'm gonna sit here and watch TV on my phone. In case anyone was curious about how my sweet potato vine was doing, uh, of the three, one really took off. And I've cut some leaves off of here because, okay, so like that stuff, I don't know what that is. So I've been taking them off as it comes out. Um, Because is it sugar on the sweet potato leaf? Like it's weird. Like what is that? Because it doesn't look like spider mites. And where the hell would they come from? But it's on here. Maybe I need to look into that. But look how much. It's just cute. And I'm not doing it to grow the potatoes. I'm doing it just for the vine. Here's the information I found on Google after a search. They're little hairs. And it just might have something to do with drought retention. Hey, y'all. It's Friday. And before I get started on my little laundry chores and my packing chores from the sun, I am attempting to do one of my little five below art projects with resin pour um i've been seeing people do resin online for a while now and it looks like really interesting really nice craft you gotta have ideas to come up with now i got ideas thanks to facebook but they only give you enough to do just the one little thing in the box i mean it costs five dollars it costs five dollars so you know use this little hexagonal four board um put some glue in here it, like i wanted to do two different colors but then if you give me enough resin and hardener to do one mix we got all these extra cups out here for no reason we're gonna do purple because we got red and blue dye I did three drops of blue. I'm going to do two drops of red. And I don't know what I'm going to use them for now because I was going to try to make like a little sun catcher or something for outside. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes. Is it the dye that's not the sun? It's like bubbles. Now I wish I didn't add the damn red in here. Can you see? Not really. Let me just put it Like, this color don't even look like something I want to work with. Oh well, it's something to try. We'll see what it looks like once it dries, I guess. I'm not adding no more red to it, I know that much. I'm not adding no more color to it, so we're gonna hold on to those dyes. 
I guess the extra cups will be to keep me from spilling this damn glitter all over the place. Cause I saw a whole thing where you can make like a tray. So I took one of my little plastic trays that I haven't used yet for my plants and thought about doing that. But I'm like, just that alone wouldn't be eye-catching enough for a sun catcher, I think. So, this and the little wooden board. Oh, that's a board. Then pour a mixture into the board. This is a design tool to make swirls of different shapes in a mixture. Well, what swirls in different shapes you gonna make in a mixture? But I'm. I'm Maybe I should keep all of my stuff on the plastic and not risk spilling anything. Just going slowly. Pour it onto the board and little, little molds. I think I'm going to buy a bigger kit. Either I'm going to buy more than one kit from Five Below. Probably in my best interest to get a kit from Hobby Lobby or. Michael's or Joanne's to go try the lobby there. That's not the direction of food that I wanted. But, of course, everything right now I want to do for my little outdoor area. Oh shit, I dripped some on the top of the board. kit that was a fail for me. So I didn't bother showing it. Maybe I can use that little hot pen to put holes in them and then I can link them from there. It's a little bit in here but not enough to do this tray. What can I put this little bit in before it hardens? I mean it got to set overnight. It really said set for 72 hours. I'm gonna blow dry it to speed up the process. Actually, I can add a little bit more into this first one. Make sure I get a little more. Everything else looking good. Look, the smooth watch me keep pouring extra till I mess up. Okay, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. Come check out. One more drips. I think I'll wipe up the drip too before it hardens. Definitely keep the board. Because if I go get me another kit, then you already know. Um, This is what I'm doing here. I think I'm just going to blow dry it. I'm gonna add some more glitter to the top. That's what I'm gonna do. So let's do this. Let's wipe some of the resin we've now dripped onto it off. I'll just add a little bit of glitter sprinkle on each one. Let's see if we're capable of adding just a little bit. That's just a little bit. Now that might be when you need to use the swirling tool, which is basically the same as the damn stick. So I'm gonna use the same stick. And I'm just gonna try to displace some of the glitter from being all in one spot. I don't 
have, if I had bought that bouquet of flowers again, I could put those little flowers in here. But then again, I would have just done the blue and not mixed it and had this dark color either. I think I'm going to go buy me a resin mold kit with more materials for larger projects or more than one go around. Because they'll get you. With these instructions that sound like you won't have enough to do it a few times. I don't know if I should put glitter in every single one of I wish I had different colored glitters now. Probably do somewhere and just put where they are. speed up this video at some point because I can't stop to touch my phone right now to start recording. And there isn't a lot to say other than find your joy any way you can. Feeling better today. Someone reminded me that even when I feel like I'm failing, I'm really not failing. I'm actually doing a pretty good job. Especially with my most important job, which is being a mom. And my boys wouldn't trade me for anyone else. Maybe I'm feeling a little bit better too, because it's already the weekend for me. And it's kind of like a start over. Do this weekend better. I got so much I have to do this weekend. But instead of me putting this off again, you this done. This is literally just for my enjoyment. I'm gonna put a glitter, extra glitter in each one of these, and that's a small one. That's a half a hexagon, way too much tag on glitter. Can we just mix you down? So this is Listen. You got less and then you turn around and put more. <clears throat> My phone just going off. Somebody must be texting me. But you do texts not pop up when you're recording? That's funny. I have no clue. But I'll find out in a minute. Okay. Wish me luck. I'm about to take this one. These gloves off. Okay, so this is a fail. It doesn't come out the board. You need a silicone mold. Here I go. On my way into Hobby Lobby. Because the five below crap. They got me researching resin products. And I'm going to look into doing UV resin. Because I don't have days to wait for stuff to dry. Okay, well, that was a quick trip and I made sure I didn't spend excess money. I know that le manager lady was looking at me crazy because I picked up a shopping cart and walked back with an empty shopping cart, but Hobby Lobby not gonna get me today. I already have this random task. 
so I came in with the purpose of getting one thing especially and then all the molds would have been extra oh heck this is not the easier way to get out turning it is we're not sitting in this line I know I need to get to a light but there is another light um I need to get to the other side of the expressway go to Michael's since that long hour-long lesson I just watched was produced by Michael's I'm gonna go over there. Hopefully they got it in stock. I have no idea where to find it. But hopefully I can find somebody in the store to help me. It's just gonna be getting across the street. That's the problem and I'm starting to get hungry. And I told myself, go on and get what you want now because if you go eat first, you're not gonna have time to do this. And the caveat is if I have to rush back home to get there before the school bus, I can grab me dogs. And that's not what I want. But I want too much. So let me get in this traffic. in 12 hours and be full strength in 72 hours. So I think I'm gonna try that. Um, nice clothes, gold, silver, black, and white. Could be useful as a gift. A little dish seems to be more useful, although I could just say I'm making coasters. And my child, that's not what I do. I'm gonna call them coasters, special coasters. Or some coasters. Same price. Three pieces. Might as well get the dad on tools to. I swear I've been used to this. I'm going to Dollar Tree with this stuff to put inside. Okay, Michaels and Dollar Tree are right next to each other. Um, in total, I've spent about $55, $60 on <laughs> my new project. We actually, subtract uh, $5. So I've spent about $55 on my resin crafting and I found more of my contact paper to finish doing the inside of my other set of bookshelves. Only I would go spend all this money to do this project um, without seeing how my five below project even turned out to start with. Cause they got to sit there and drive for like three days. I, wait, maybe I can take it out. Nope, tomorrow's 24 hours. I might be able to take it out on Sunday. But I got to sit in the pie someplace. I'm probably going to forget about it. And then I'm like, oh, it's perfect because it's my friend's birthday next week. And I can make her a little coaster or something that has all the stuff we like. Um, I can make it in some colors she likes. I could... Um, add some items that um, we both like and it would be perfect as a gift for her birthday. So you know, excuses as to why I need stuff but I don't have time to do nothing. I need to still switch both of those boys rooms this weekend while going to a family get together. And I got to drop off my kid today and pick him up on Sunday. So it's not like I have unlimited time today or Sunday. I ain't even did it. I ain't did nothing in those rooms today because I was doing the laundry. I was trying to just, you know, get some rest. I didn't sleep in, but I didn't move too quickly um, because I need a break. 
I don't know what time I'm getting up in the morning. And in order to do a lot of what I need to do, my other child has to be awake because he's going to have to help me and be out the way at the same time. Either, either be out of my way or help me move everything and figure out everything. Which he's not going to do that all day. So I need his help at least with the furniture. Um... Lord, I'm praying for a miracle. And I still want to find time to do this little art project this weekend. Because I'm telling you, i got to get it done. First do one for her, and then do one for the rest of us out of our core group. Because I know other people are going to be at that dinner next week. But this my thing. So, yeah, i got an issue. But I'm feeling better. See, it gives me something to look forward to. And it's Friday, and I'm feeling better. If it works out, my friends have gifts for me. So it's been over 12 hours and the initial curing of my part A and part B box, epoxy resin pouring. It's hard. Um, this one was kind of a fail, so I'll probably do another one for my friend in a little bit. Um, it has the gold stickers in it as well, but that black coloring and the silver coloring was too much. I mean, silver coloring was in these two, but you doesn't pick up as much. The red was in this one, and the blue was in this one. Um, this one, the stickers kind of floated back towards the top again, so there's a few areas where the sticky part is a little exposed. And I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but I am going to add a letter for each person. This is just my trial tray. I can use it because I'll take this to work and sit my pencil holders and stuff on it. But this is how it came out. Okay, y'all. It's Sunday night. Vlogs are late. Probably two weeks in a row, if not three, because I can't remember past that. But, um... I did manage to switch the rooms for the kids and the guest room. The guest room is still the guest room, but furniture's moved around. Um, the guest room's still an explosion. I have two nights to get that together because Wednesday night I have um, a fun work obligation if the rain doesn't mess that up. But um, yeah, so I have two nights to get the guest room in order. But my boys are tucked away in their new bedrooms with the carpets that they have destroyed. All of our children have destroyed carpets in three of our bedrooms. So I still say we don't replace it until they move out. And then we replace all the flooring because I'm not getting them more stuff to tear up. They're gonna get new mattresses to tear up before they get new flooring. But I still have to piece together this vlog. I can't even promise you that this is going up Monday night, hopefully, I mean, Hopefully I'll get it up tomorrow, especially if I take my lunch in my car. Um, but thank you for watching. Um, it's definitely been an emotional high, low, high, low this week. Um, I went through some struggles getting these rooms together and I still went to that cookout with our family. Like we, me, my husband and my oldest son, because my youngest son was with his dad. We went to the cookout with my dad's family. There's no pictures from that because... I ain't gonna be explaining why I'm putting stuff on YouTube when people don't want me to put them on Facebook, okay? Um, so I drove over an hour. Technically my husband drove Saturday. Scared the living daylights out of me. But I went over an hour south and back three days in a row and still got the room situated for my children. So I accomplished a lot. 
And I think this week has been more about my children. My emotional ups and downs have been like, am I a good mom or am I a bad mom, really? Without me going too much into detail as to what triggered it at the beginning of the week. I do, I live for them. I live for them. I gotta live for me. And I've tried to do better about that. Um, once my youngest turned one and my sister said something to me, it's kind of what led to me dating my husband and eventually marrying my husband. But um, I really do live for them. And I want to do the best for them, even though they have me look at them crazy every day. <laughs> Everything I do is for them. And I thank you for watching me do me because this is the only therapy I'm doing right now. Um, I, I stopped counseling a little earlier this year. So yeah, I've been vlogging through my therapy without saying it. I do therapy. I will do counseling, but um, I'm not doing it right now. And I am, but I know I take very good notes. So I know what's healthy coping and what's not so healthy coping. And I'd rather do the healthy coping than the not healthy coping because that also that leads me down some mess but anyway thank you guys for watching i'll see you next week